Alright team, so we'll be talking about one of the hottest play and earn games in the market right now. So we have Nino Kuni Cross World. So if you're looking for something to actually play which is really good and really legit, so this is something that you may want to consider. First off, this is completely free to play. So you can download it on your mobile devices if you have iOS or Android or you can also play it on your personal computer. Alright, so what is Nino Kuni? So Nino Kuni Cross World, this is an expansion from the original game. So this is a sequel but they have integrated it in the blockchain space all right so this reimagines the fantasy world coming from those original games it has very beautiful anime graphics that's for the anime fans heartfelt cutscenes and there's actually a dialogue and there's a very good storyline around it right so the original music tracks is made by studio ghibli film composer joe hisayashi with the combination of it so you can have like an immersive gaming experience so it's like a film while you are actually playing it right so this game is delivered to us by net marble corporation right so this is their website you can check out the various games that they have here so take note they are the eighth largest mobile gaming publisher worldwide and they are the number one game publisher in korea so you can see the brands here you can see the various games that they have managed to deliver and publish to us so take note no a3 stay alive is also under their same blockchain and this is also play and earn right under marblex so we will be discussing about that blockchain as well so you can check out more details about net marble and they have really good games and most of them are actually free to play on your mobile devices they have also very few um, pc and console game as well but their main focus is providing us quality games within the mobile space as well all right and Nino Kuni Cross Worlds has a very rich storyline where reality and fantasy coexist. So this is a brand new story based on the original game and the players are actually chosen here as a beta tester for the Soul Divers game. So this is developed by Mirai Corporation which is a major company within the game itself. Alright, so what will happen here, you will be transferred within the gaming world of Nino Kuni and through the game you will be starting off in the Nameless Kingdom where you will be attacked automatically by mysterious enemies and you will be of course trying to escape because they are more powerful than you and you will be helped by the Queen Sia. And after crash landing to safety, the players begin their journey to rebuild the Nameless Kingdom. Alright, so you can also join other kingdoms but you can also build your own kingdom as well here. And you will be having a self-appointed guy named Clue so I'll be showing you that um, I'm not sure if that's a pen or what you, whatever you want to actually call Clue later alright so during your adventure you'll be meeting various NPCs a mysterious AI Rania energetic young girl called Chloe and of course fighting unique monsters leveling up your characters and of course no how the story unfolds you will be learning more about the game itself so your main mission here is to protect Nino Kuni from the villains who wants to actually destroy it right so uh, on their journey you will be meeting various uh, players as well that has been also transferred here so this is a more of like a social type of game and it's actually fun because you can actually see other players while you are actually exploring the fields and actually doing your quest during your mission all right so let's see how would the story unfolds as the game continues um, in the long term because we know this is a very um, long term type of project and they have already started but the story is already quite rich and very interesting and there's five different characters in this game where you can actually choose one that would fit your actual playstyle, right? So there are wielding five different type of weapons and they have different combat styles. So the first one, we have an engineer. So they are equipping various firearms in the game such as rifles and they can actually deploy some of their inventions that can potentially kill allies in the game and can also buff them up and potentially also enemies. You can also provide debuffs as well. So there's like different um, characteristics sticks you can actually set up what's the suit that they will be wearing or um, whatever the character would look like at the start of the game so you can actually fully customize them so we have the destroyer so this is another character so if you want to play tanky um, type of gameplay so this one wields a giant hammer and it's merciless against foes so you can Put this one in the front line if you're working with other teams that you have been partying with them as well. And the third one is one of the classics that we have. So we have an heroic fencer in the form of a noble swordsman that we have. So they deal rapid attack and they completely demoralize the enemies in the front line. So they are kind of an off tank. So it's a mix between ham the high damage dealer and kind of a bit of a tanky character as well. So there's balance with this one. And the fourth one that we have is the beautiful magician. So this is 
a witch where you can use a flying spear okay and this will be having magic and various abilities as well where you can battle various foes in this world so this is the one that i will be showing you later so this is also a melee character but once uh, i think i managed to um release some of the magic um that this character has it will um, be automatically a part of a mid-range i would say because it's still going in the front line if you're fighting um the characters here right and another range character that we have is the rogue so it's kind of like a uh, long range but a fast type of character where you can deploy valley of arrows and quick movements as well so you can take this one to have a supporting role in this game to buff up um the team maybe provide like speed ups or like um faster cooldown for your um skills as well but i haven't really tried out fully all of the characters i have, I have already tried the, the first one the witch so i'll be sharing with you so far what we have um in this game later so you can um build up your characters upon your um liking because you need to actually level up their skills you need to actually spend time in this game and unless if you have like uh, multiple devices where you can actually uh play with so if you're only having one device so you need to be wise which character you want to spend your time with because you really need to like um, invest a lot of um, time here in this game because you need to level up not only the skills but also the weapons um, the classes you need to build up your reputation in this game all right and next off we have familiar so these are like um, i would say pets in this game which will help you so you can equip up to three initially um, one slot would be Unlock. So here are some of the familiars in this game. We have Rambontokus. So they provide different skills. They have different elements. And there, there's also a gameplay here that is focused on the familiars that you have. So we have Penguicorn. And we have Jabber. Um, Petal. Hagoblin. And all of the potential familiars that would be released later. So you can see here there's a familiar adventure as well. So you can... Um, play with them you can battle using this uh, familiars on the field and later on you can battle with other players using your familiars and earn tokens um, with it as well okay and of course there will be having uh, various locations here various areas in the maps and as we progress further in the game there would be more releases that would be coming of course different maps different quests that you can actually do and different experience every time so you can meet here various NPCs and as I mentioned earlier there's a very deep storyline so you can interact with the ai with the environment and meet a lot of players as well along the way so it's not just like um, battling with um, the monsters um, finishing the main quest because there's also side quests that you may want to look into and understand what's the social interaction and what's the potential further in this game and if you like to interact with other players, of course, in every MMORPG, we have guilds. And guilds are in the form of kingdoms here where you can do various things like customization. You can defend your um, kingdom from various monsters. You can play it with your friends. Um, there's also relic wars that you would be competing with other players where you would be capturing various territories. Um, you can also do invasion mode where you can attack and defend with each other. And lastly, you can have your own capital kingdom here. So take note, there's only one um, Capital Kingdom per server. So they would be the best guild in this game. So check out this feature. And once you have level up further, because there would be certain builds that certain guild would actually require. And this would be a quite a competitive game as well because they would be different jobs, um, different type of skills, different um, familiars that you would be bringing. So that provides value. And of course, the social interaction as well with various players in this game. And of course, we are play and earn. We have a blockchain here. You can actually start earning tokens as well when you play this game. So we have two different tokens here and you can acquire them differently. But both of them are existing within the Marblex platform. And later on, you can exchange it with um, real um, currency with crypto exchanges. So there's actually a workflow here that I can show you in a while. So first one, we have um, Terra token or NKT. So utility token existing within the Marblex platform. You can exchange this currency for territe tokens and whatever you actually want you can buy um, items with it um, exchange it and use it um, potentially as your um, earnings in this game as well so how do you get territe so do you get territe by participating in dailies um, doing familiar adventure or hunting monsters in the chaos field so this are like um, the full description that we have right now so depending on your level you will be able to earn more territe in game so the longer you play the more tokens that you can acquire here of course the economy um, would be varying from time to time so there would be some exchange rate that we can consider so you can check the values on the exchanges or you can just visit the website as well so you can 
can see the um, the exchange rate that they have um, right now. So they have an ongoing event. I'll share that with you in a while. Okay. So uh, for example, here you will be farming Territe in game. You can exchange that within the Marblex platform. Okay. You can get um, the Territe token, um, exchange it for Marblex token, and you can swap that directly for you to earn um, USD um, in various crypto exchanges that is supporting this um, project as well. So you can install your uh, Marblex wallet um, within your um, Android or with your iOS um, phone. And I've also managed to actually set up here um, within my MetaMask wallet um, the Clayton um, Cypress as well, which supports the MBX um, or the Marblex platform um, as well. Okay. And the secondary token we have is Asterite token or NKA for short. So this is completely the same with Territe token. The main difference is how you actually acquire it. All right. So for you to acquire the Asterite token, you need to participate in the competitive content of this game where you need to actually invest in your character to make them more um, powerful and of course no, spend more time to actually level them up so here are some of the areas where you can start earning them you can participate the lava valley team 3v3 competitive um, battle game mode and you need to defeat all opponents for you to actually earn the tokens here you can participate in the weekly and season rewards and if you are rough in the top 10 you will be earning asteroid tokens as well so yeah and there's also a familiar arena where you will be battling with other players where you can earn all of these tokens so the process is completely the same for you to actually get the earnings here so you can exchange your asteroid tokens um, with marblex or um, the mbx token here and you can exchange it with cryptocurrency get your usd um, usdt out here and um for people who are not yet familiar with this one so this is the website for marblex so i've already featured a3 in one of my videos right so you can check out more details um about this one so this is their own um, blockchain that they have developed for all net marble games that they would be releasing so nino kuni would be the second title we have few more titles coming up and they said they will be um developing more on top of it so they have um, this complete roadmap which um we can understand more what is their um target about this one so we can see here the complete list of partners and this is only available in your um app store or in google play so i mean i think almost everyone um either has an ios or an apple store already okay and since Nino Kuni just recently launched, they have these two key events ongoing right now, all right? So they have this NKT fixed exchange rate and the buyback and burn event as well for this one. So both events last until June 28, 559 UTC. So the token rate for uh, between Territe and NKT will be fixed during the duration of this event run, right? So this will be announced every Monday, 6, p uh, 6 a.m. UTC and may be subject to change depending on market condition so as we know as more players come in more tokens would be actually generated so they have actually a formula for this one all right so um, whatever changes that they do let's just wait for the announcement here and the more important thing is the buyback and burn so 100 percent of the black diamond sales generated by the nkt exchange will be invested for market stabilization all right so 100 percent of the nkt purchase during this stabilization process would also be burned so meaning they will not be returning in the market circulation and would lower the supply during this period so this actually helps new players and for them to actually think for the early adopters and potentially these early players would actually earn more at this initial stage but then it's still subject to how much effort the player would actually be exerting for this one all right and with that let's start playing nino kuni cross worlds and let's see if this is something you really want to play with all right so this is my character this is a witch i already kind of um customize her during the start of the game and once you actually start you may be able to select from the five characters um uh, available that is um we've seen earlier so here um there's like an event section here i already um claim what is um available for um today here so there's like a day check-in so this already um complete so if you manage to log in seven days straight you will be getting this four star chest so this is completely for free and there's still some events here right now 
Okay, so um, you can also actually visit the shop here in this section. So um, this one you need to actually purchase using your credit card or um, PayPal account. So I've um, tried like um, checking out the options so far. So these are um, other items as well that may help you in your quest here in this game, but it's completely optional um, for you. Okay, so and we also have like the basic shop. So there are like some free items that you can get and some items that you will be needing to purchase. For example, this one would be requiring you a few gems as well to purchase it. Um, this one is a sweet cappuccino. You will be having your coins um, to use in this um, game. And I mean, other options would be actually available um, for you once you progress further in this game. So, so far, I don't have like a class um, grade option yet. I don't have mounts, deck, and this um, title. So I have skills here. So I have uh, some of them equipped. I can actually level up um, some of them. Um, there's also a special one that you can um, actually keep. So if you want to claim um, this one, there's, there's like a book or material that is um, required. So you can just um, get it somewhere. I'm not sure where you still need to farm it. So that's how the game actually works. You have the equipment section. So, so far I only have my wing spear here. Uh, the red spear that I have and other um, basic items that um, that was provided to you once you start uh, playing this game so those are like the basic stuff and you will be also getting a free um, familiar so you'll be getting one uh, i think i chose this one um, pipsqueak is the i think the name of this um, familiar that i have but you can unlock two more options here so you need to be at least level 11 and level 15 to access those options and um, once you play further you will be getting more familiars in the game um, whatever action you do there's like a codex here um, records and everything else so it's um everything is um listed here so there's um actually a power up so this would be available for you later in this game you have missions so the missions here is quite easy um there's like an auto um option for you to actually go um and like directly I mean, finish the quest um, for you just need to be um, patient once the while well, the character is actually moving. So those are all the options. And this is the token exchange. So this is um, once you manage to farm um, Territe. So I have um, 10 of this one by finishing those um, daily quests, I think. And this is the current exchange rate there. So we saw it's 300 um, is to 1. Then um, for Asterite, it's 772 is to one all right so so far uh, i don't have enough um i mean territe yet to be um i mean to be swapped so so far um we still need to farm it then i already linked my mbx wallet so you need to create your account um as i shared earlier in your mobile device so those are like the key options that you have here and um you also have your mailbox where you can like check out what's um the other things that you can collect here via your um mail right Okay, so for you to like start off the quest, you can do it manually if you actually um, want it or you can just click this and it will um, go to the area and I mean technically um, play the game for you. It's like it's completely auto battle as well. So here are your three different skills. You also have the special skill that was unlocked earlier. Right. So you have different main missions and reputation quests that you need to um, improve. All right. So there's like a storyline here, but I'll not be reading through this one. Wait a moment. Hey, it's Great Uncle Autumn. What's up, old man? Well. We're in. Hey, that's not important. I don't know what people in weird masks. I was thinking. I am. So this is part of the main storyline, but I don't really read it. <laughs> it's up to you if you want to read the main storyline here. If you want to battle, you can just um, yeah, click the attack here. There's a cooldown for the skills. And it will just continue um, following you on the next um, area where you need to finish the quest. So even the potions are actually automatically um, consumed here. There's like an auto buff provided um, for me. So it depends on my alignment and um, the familiar that I have here. So you can see Pipsqueak is also fighting with me during the battle. Oh, this must be the oh, something in the air. Mm. Uh, can you try destroy? So I'm not pressing anything. So as I mentioned, it's the auto battle and. Whatever happens next is completely up to the AI. Anyway, 
So this is around I think 15 minutes into the game but I skip a lot of like storyline so I haven't really read from the start because I just want to go into an area where I can kind of explore. So this is like the I think the part where I can just freely um, farm monsters if I want but I think this is still a very early stage so it's best to like uh, finish your quest line and yeah follow whichever um, I mean your guide your self-appointed guide provided you. So that's Clue. Uh, this machine. one. <laughs> so we're still in the tutorial section of the game right now. So there's also a summon here. So I don't have like enough um, gems to summon them right or diamonds here. So once I manage to like farm enough diamonds or get it from the quest or um, from the daily, so should be able to um, do the summoning. Okay. So those are like the basics in the game. Um, you just need to ensure that you have upgraded your equipment later on, upgraded your skills, and whatever build that you want to do. Because at the start of the game, you don't have much option. So you just need to play it at its, as it was given. Or if you want to kind of like um, boost um, whatever you have in this game. So they have all these um, basic uh, gems that can help you or some of the stuff that is available in store. Um, that you can actually use your own um, money with. So that's not um, crypto, so that, that's actual, as I mentioned, it's credit card and PayPal that you need to um, spend here. So that's like their, I mean, not, not really gacha system, but if you want to progress further in this game. So that would also help, I mean, the sustainability of like play to earn or play and earn games um, right now, because I mean, Play and earn games is uh, really sustainable in this uh, manner. What um, Netmarble is doing right now with their games, and, and they're providing us quality games as you can also see here, right? So this is like um, you you will need years to develop this quality of game. Um, the audio is really nice. The graphics is really nice. Um, they have a well thought of like um, skill set for each of the characters. You have unique enemies. Um, across each areas right so so I think it's a really good game but I think um, it's up to you if you want to really get into this one um, play this game um, you don't really need to spend so much time because you don't need to like um, guard your character every now and then because you just need to click the quest line here and it will actually uh, finish the mission for you That's asking me to defeat um, at least 10 monsters here. So I got a reputation quest as well. So it will improve your status in game. So you can access more content later on. Alright, so so I think those are all the basics we have in this game. Um, as I mentioned earlier, so you may want to like check this game out um, further. Don't forget their event if you want to like farm more. Um, gems, the fixed um, conversion rate would actually help players who are um, early in this game. And if you want something quite relaxing, um, the uh, music is really nice, um, the graphics as well as um, um, anime-ish, right? So there's a lot of people who likes this um, game. So um, again, do your own research further since it's uh, in crypto and blockchain, but we have a reputable organization um, delivering us this um, quality game as well in the name of Netmarble, right? So yeah. So that's everything I have for um, today. Any questions, just put them down in the comment section um, below. And don't forget to hit that like and share button. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe notification bell. And thank you so much for watching and see you again next time. Bye-bye.